Hello, my name is Holly and I'm a nurse practitioner here at LaserWay and today we're going to be showing you what a typical Botox treatment is like. This is my lovely patient, Helen. Okay, so before we start, Helen has been cleared medically for treatment, so we typically go through a series of questions and we do a medical clearance and she has done that. Helen does get Botox here regularly, typically every maybe three to four months, mm -hmm. which is what's uh, normal here. Um, today we're going to be doing Helen's upper face. She did recently do lower face Botox, which we do offer here, but today we're focusing on the upper portion of her face. Um, so Helen, tell me what areas you want to treat today. So I'd love to look at uh, the wrinkles above my eyebrows, mm -hmm. um, the ones in between, maybe you can help me with <laughs> determining what those are, and then around my eyes. Too. Perfect, okay, good. So today we're going to be treating Helen's forehead, which targets the horizontal lines. We're going to be targeting between her eyebrows, which we call the 11s. So make an angry face here, there we go, good. And then around her eyes, which is referred to as the crow's feet. I have assessed Helen in advance, so I do have some product with me, but we'll do a demonstration of what a typical assessment would be like, okay? So I'm going to grab my pencil, and we've already cleaned off Helen's skin with alcohol, so it's nice and clean, and our pencil is clean too. I'm going to have you turn towards me, and I'll go ahead and raise your eyebrows. Okay, great. So here we have her basically flex the muscle so that I can see where she creates wrinkles and I can kind of mark off where she needs to be treated. Go ahead and relax. Okay. One more time, raise up, there we go. And I will do that one there. Great, go ahead and relax your face now, perfect. So once I do my assessment for this muscle here, I'm gonna have you make an angry face for me. Perfect, so we're gonna target this muscle group right here that causes our 11s. I'm just gonna mark off our injection points. Beautiful, relax it here. And then go ahead and give me a really big cheesy smile. So when she does this really big smile, the muscle around her eye contracts and it creates these little lines here that we call crow's feet. Sometimes we like to soften those a little bit. This also helps give the eye a more open appearance. Go ahead and relax. So when we do relax this muscle here, the eyebrow kind of sits a little bit higher. The eye looks a little bit bigger. I'm gonna come around to the other side. Okay, and then go in and smile, perfect, perfect. Mark you right here, and right here. All right, go ahead and relax. Looks great. So I'm gonna grab my product now, and we are going to get started. Helen, do you have any questions? Nope, You're I'm good? ready to go, let's okay. do it. All right, good. So I drew up Helen's product in advance. I did do her assessment prior to coming in the room. Usually after we do our assessment, we decide how many units you're going to do. We kind of discuss what, the, you know, what number of units are appropriate, depending on the patient's goal and what they're trying to achieve. Then the clinician usually steps outside, we draw up the product, we bring it back and we start our treatment. and just put your head against the bed. You can bring your body down just a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, turn a little bit away from me. Great, big smile, good job, relax it. Okay, one, two, three, little poke right here. You okay? Perfect, thank you. There we go, beautiful. Now I'm going to have you turn towards me, perfect, big smile, good, relax it, one, two, three, little poke, very good. How are you feeling? Great. Describe how this feels. So it's a little poke, but you do it so gently that 
I don't feel anything after the needle goes in. Thanks. Just a tiny sting, huh? Yep. All right, angry. Good, relax that. One, two, three, poke, poke. So Helen here likes for her muscles to have minimal movement. So we do dose her a little bit on the higher end. Angry, good, relax it. And that way we ensure that the muscles don't contract and she doesn't make those pesky little lines that she does not like. But we can always dose depending on the patient's goals. So if she did want movement, I could have dosed her a little lighter. Angry again, good, relax it. Very good. Helen, what are you going to do when your Botox kicks in? <laughs> I celebrate. <laughs> are you gonna, do a little dance, get are you photos. Take pictures. Heck yeah. <laughs> I love celebrating no wrinkles. I know. <laughs> nice and fresh. Go ahead and give me one more angry face. Perfect. Good. Relax that. Very good. So here we see bumps on her forehead and around her eyes. That is just the product that I injected under her skin. It does look a little scary at first, but it's literally just the Botox product. And usually by the time she steps out of the clinic, it's gone. So it's totally normal. All right, and then give me one raise of your eyebrows. Good, relax that. Doing okay? Yep. Very good. And then we're almost done. I'm just going to walk over to the other side of your face and finish off with your crow's feet on that side, okay? Okay, give me a nice big smile. Perfect. Relax it. Yeah, that's good right there. Rest your face. One, two, three, little poke. And then last one, turn this way. Ready, one, two, three, little poke. And that's it. Okay. We are done. So this will start to kick in in two to three days. So in two to three days, the Botox is going to start working with your muscles. They're going to start to weaken, but it does take up to 14 days to see the maximum results. And then at 14 days, if she feels like she needs a little more, she can always come back and get a touch up. Okay. But it does take the full two weeks. Um, just be careful. I don't want you to massage the area for the rest of the day. So just, you know, gently pat it if you need to wash your face or put any makeup on, keep the area clean, and then don't work out for about 24 hours. So we just want to make sure that product stays where I put it and it doesn't move anywhere else. Perfect. And do you have any questions? Can I put on makeup afterwards? You can put on makeup later in the day. I would probably say maybe by tonight. You do have a little bit of open wounds there from the little puncture, so I would wait and keep the area totally clean for sense. now. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Ready to be a laser babe? Three steps. One, subscribe to our channel. Two, watch more amazing videos. And three, schedule your free virtual consultation for any of our services by clicking the link below. Then we can be friends in real life.